Hello everyone, welcome back to another tutorial. Dusty here. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to add custom app icons on your iPhone or iPad within iOS 14. So in order for you to do this, you need to be running iOS 14 or beyond, obviously. And then what you're going to want to do is to download the images or the icon images. They need to be PNG files. As you can see, I have a couple here in my photos album. Um, what I normally would do is just Google PNG icons for whatever app you're looking for, or go to some site like Icon Finder or Pinterest is also another great alternative. And then once you've downloaded the icons onto your phone, whether you email them to yourself or text them, however you get them onto your photo roll here uh, on your device, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open an app called Shortcuts. Now, Shortcuts is going to be on every iOS device so you know if it's not on there you can go to the app store search for shortcuts and then download and install the app but it should be on your device already and then what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to create an action so go ahead and tap on the addition symbol in the upper right hand corner uh, and then go ahead and create a new shortcut and then go ahead and tap on the blue add action button there. And then once we're here, we're going to want to select scripting, which is the third one from the left. So go ahead and tap on scripting. And then we want to do apps, open app. It's at the very top. If it's not, uh, you should be able to search for it, but it's alphabetical. So it should be at the top. Go ahead and tap on open app. And then once you're there, go ahead and tap on choose. You can see where it says open and then choose. Go ahead and tap on choose. Once you're here, you're going to want to select the app that you're going to want to customize the icon for. So in the case of this video, I'm going to do YouTube. So I'm going to select YouTube. And then once we're ready, go ahead and tap the next button in the upper right hand corner and then give this shortcut a name. Uh, remember, whatever you name the shortcut, that's going to be kind of what the name of the app is on the device. So it probably just needs to be the name of the app, unless you're trying for a different aesthetic or look on your device. And in that case, name it whatever you want to. And then once you're ready, go ahead and tap the blue done option in the upper right hand corner. Now, as you can see, you're going to have a new shortcut in the upper left hand corner there. Uh, they are organized by the time that you created them. So as you create more, they will go down the page here. So what you're going to want to do now is tap the three dots that is in the upper right hand corner of that shortcut that you just created. So go ahead and tap on those three dots. And then you'll see another set of three dots in the upper right hand corner here. Go ahead and tap on that as well. Uh, and then go ahead and tap on add to home screen. It's going to be the second option there. Go ahead and go to add to home screen. Now, once you're here, if you tap on the second option, the one right here that says home screen name and icon, just tap on the icon on the left hand side of your screen there. And then an option will come up to take a photo choose a photo or choose a file. I'm going to go ahead and choose a photo and that's what you should do as well. And I'm going to go ahead and select the YouTube app that I've downloaded here. And then I'm going to go ahead and tap on choose just like that. And as you can see, I have now have a new icon for this shortcut, which is the YouTube app. And then go ahead and tap on add just like that and then hit done. And that will add that to your home screen. And if we navigate out of here, we should be able to see the new icon for YouTube. And as you can see, we now have a new icon for YouTube. And if we tap on the YouTube icon, it will automatically open up YouTube. Now, remember this, this is basically a workaround. You are not able to actually change the native icon within the iOS device. But what you're able to do is to, again, this is something that I probably would never do myself, but if you're wanting to customize and give your home screen a different look or feel, this is a great way of going about doing that. It takes literally uh, another maybe second to second and a half to actually open the app. So if I tap on Instagram here, it opens up shortcuts and then goes to the app. Uh, and then the same thing goes for YouTube. Tap on YouTube, it will open up the the shortcuts app and then the YouTube app. So again, it's literally maybe not even that maybe it's like a half second uh, as opposed to opening up the app regularly. So if we open up the regular YouTube app, as you can see here, I've put it on the screen here kind of for comparison and then we open up YouTube. Boom, it opens up instantly almost. But if we tap on the new icon or shortcut that we created with the new custom icon, you can see here that it takes about one, it may be about two seconds. So again, that's something that you can do. And that's how you customize icons within the iOS 14 ecosystem. If you have any questions, please put those in the comment section below. If you liked the video, please like it and share it as well as subscribe for more great tech tutorials that are short and straight to the point. Thank you guys as always for watching and I'll see you in the next video.